Today I'm going to demonstrate a safe isolation procedure for a three phase board. Um, first thing we need to do is basically identify the source of the installation, okay, so where the power is coming from. Uh, and what we can see easily here, we have an isolator for the volt 230 supply, okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to lock this isolator off, okay. So we turn it to the off position, we put our padlock on with our warning label, make sure that the key that we have here goes into your pocket. Please do not hang it up or leave it lying around. Um, this should always be in your possession. Then what we need to do is we need to get a voltage indicator, which I have here, and then we need a power supply, okay, a proven unit, which we have here. And what we need to do, we need to prove that our testers work. Simple thing, put them into the voltage indicator. As you can see, they're all working. Okay, so our proof unit's working fine and our indicators are working fine. We then need to remove the cover off the three phase board. Okay, please do not remove this until you have locked off, which I have done here. And as we can see, the main switch is switched off as well. Now we have our three phase supply. Um, with a three phase supply, you've got to do your 10 dead tests, okay? And we are testing our incoming, okay? Not testing the outgoing, we're testing the incoming, because that's where we supply. Okay, so basic thing, simple test, 10 dead tests. We do our L1 to L2, take them both out. L1 to L3, remove the leads. L2 to L3. Okay, so they tested your three phases. We then need to test between phase and neutral. Again, Make sure you take them out. Phase two to neutral, phase three to neutral. After we've done that, we do our phase to earth or phase to CPC. See again, L1, L2, L3. And our last test we do is neutral to CPC. Once we have done this, we then need to reprove our testers to make sure they're still working. As you can see, they are still working. It is now safe to start working on that board. Thank you for your time.